What is going on, YouTubers? Abderson here from AndroTechBlackSpot.com right now with AT&T Galaxy Note 2. And I'm going to show you how to update or upgrade your not Note to Android version 4.1.2, which offers multi-window features. Yes, the AT&T just released an update to their newest Jelly Bean. So let's go ahead and get to the update. As you can see, I just got the Note. It's been factory resetted. It's been unrooted. You don't have to factory reset if you are not rooted but if you have roots I think you need to flash stock or null in order to get the update so first of all we are going to go to setting go to by device software check check for update press ok and when you do press ok it's gonna check for software update and it's gonna start downloading the update in a couple of seconds or minutes depending how much time it will take and what's your network as, a, as you can see, I'm getting four full bars of 4G LTE, so it's not going to take a while for me. Unless the server is pretty busy, since all the XDA community is trying to get this update onto their node as possible. So let me go ahead and press OK. So it does not say I have, it says 4.1.1 here, and you see ALJ2, but the newest update is UCALK7. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a few tricks, what you can do if you get this kind of fail. You can go to date and time, which should be right here deselect automatic date and time and here go December 8 28 press ok and as you saw there the device management already downloading so now we know that once you forward your time for like one more day or 24 hours you will get that update going right there it's not something I can show you because I don't know it's not letting me tap on it or when I go to setting about device software update it says currently connecting press cancel that I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, wait, I can't even force that or anything. So the AT&T device management will be downloading the file for me. So I'll be back once the downloading is finished. So again, if your download fails or if your software says it's up to date and when you have for that one, that one, just go ahead and forward your date and time to 24 hours ahead, and you'll be able to get the US manager recognize your phone and it will start giving you update and I'll be back once this downloading is finished hey guys so as you can see the update itself is about 180 megabytes so not that big it's just gonna give you some features that International Galaxy S Note 2 just got compared to your Note 2 and uh, if you can see right there it's going pretty slow for some reason but yeah, if you wait and if you don't get that uh, update going on by changing it, go ahead and factory reset your phone. I'm sorry, I, there's no other way for you to do it. Reboot and try it again. If it still doesn't work, go ahead and factory reset your phone into your stack recovery. And uh, make sure to back up everything before you do factory reset because it will delete everything that you got into your internal storage. So all your pictures, music and everything, make sure you back, back that up. And after you factory reset, come back and uh, turn, turn on your Wi-Fi first of all. Once the Wi-Fi is there, make sure you go ahead and change the date. As you can see, it says 28 on mine. Well, it's uh, it's not 28, it's uh, 27th today. But I just go ahead and forward the date to like one day ahead. And your update will start downloading. So I will be back once the update is 
99% down download. Hey guys, so as you can see, it's about 90% done, and it's gonna be quick minute until it finishes, and we will see how AT&T will go back to its stock recovery and install this update for you. And after this update, we will go over the actual process on what happened and uh, what you got new and the features. So we're just gonna press continue here. And your device will now restart. So as you can see right there, the device has been started restarting. All the features, most likely the biggest feature you're gonna notice is the multi-test window that I've talked about. And there you go, the installation process. That AT&T symbol looks really cool, white and blue. It's about 28% done, you can see it. 29, 30. So it's going pretty fast compared to the downloading process because this is like actually a processor doing work so you know you have quad core processors so it cost is gonna go fast enough and once this finish is I'll be back as you guys can see it's 100% done it took about three to four minutes I'd say and now it's rebooting your phone yeah so three to four minutes to install or flash your newest upgrade or update and about 7 to 10 minutes on downloading the update. So keep that in mind on the time so you don't freak out if it takes longer. Make sure you give it some time, just put the phone aside. If you keep staring at it, you keep wondering and you do start doing things you shouldn't do to your phone and you get heartbreak, soft break, then you have to use Odin and all that mess is not nice in this holiday season so as you see the phone has booted up now again multi window is the features that you, you will look for it into your status bar or by long pressing the back button as you can see about 88 application has been optimizing or optimized that's how many applications it probably got updated and stuff Again, it's gonna take quite a while and after it's done you can see right there that it has booted up now now this is the 4.1.2 with UCALK7 so let's go and find out if we got that press done oops it's got text from someone I don't know if you see the number but I don't know why he texted me like right now we see about phone right there 4.1.2 4.1.2 if you can see right there which you see a l k7 it's pretty stupid the way they put the name that's the one and let's go ahead and uh, get to the multi window feature there you go that's your multi window feature just press back button for long press and you will see that come in and I'm gonna Get this guy out of here and right there you can see multi window
And this is the newest update, guys. And that's how you flash your AT&T's newest update onto your Galaxy Note 2. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.